Hi, this is Shadi. The need is the mother of all inventions. So today we have to look at a lot of old techniques and see which need they served. And also for a martial art to work and to be understood, we need to do two things. The first one being to understand the historical and cultural context of which that art was created and what need was it trying to fulfill. And the second one, and for it to work, is rigorous training and repetition against proper resistance. Anything else is just talks and comments. So we often see these, you know, grab my hand and I'll do the technique uh, type of jokes. And here you see the guy keeps grabbing the hand till the very end. And we need to understand that what he's trying to do is prevent grave danger and you even possibly prevent death so if you go back into the right context of time here in the 1880s in a kempo book not even aiki jujitsu so you see here the assailant he's doing two things first one is grabbing the sword maybe trying to take it away from the police officer and at the same time he is gripping the wrist with the other hand so to prevent the officer from grabbing the sword and pulling it out so you have two battles either they're preventing you from pulling your sword or they're trying to take it away from you so here you see the hand he grabs it he pulls it up he is preventing him from grabbing their sword now let me ask you something in today's context how many while resisting arrest go for the arms or the weapons of the police officer it's the same thing yet in a different culture and a different time uh, in history so here you can see it clearly going for his sword and trying to take it and obviously you have to prevent them from doing it so this is a 1888 kempo book on how to arrest so for you say takeda invented uh daitoryu and it's not that historical as if to take away any credits well takeda may have okay, founded the school but he had did not found techniques these techniques are generations and generations prior here you see a two-on-one against the sword he is preventing uh, either he's trying to pull it or he's preventing him from pulling it um, so this two-on-one let's see it a little bit more in action and we can actually understand more the need for these techniques at least the back then so you see here he's grabbing two-on-one and from there he rotates around it and then locks the wrist and he still is gripping and it's for a reason because if he lets go of the grip he can pull out his sword and he can kill them and i'll show you later how it can be done here you see the guy is still gripping again this is not daitoryu this is not takeda this is from kempo these techniques are much older than uh, takeda's days and they were there for this this particular reason because again here he is on his stomach he is about to be arrested yet he remains grabbing why because in this vulnerable position if he has nothing to hold on particularly the sword he will simply pull it out and execute them again this is why i named this video with this title so it's crucial to understand that there was a reason why they kept grabbing till the very end because it will lead to their demise so here this is if someone is actually attacking so you can actually lock the elbow and here this is your brutal execution method that's the first one that i'm seeing here this is from daitoryu but again these techniques did not start with the time of takeda it's far older but the school may have been founded by takeda so now let's take a look at nishio sensei nishio sensei always try to put everything into the right uh, context and as if to show where these techniques came from so as you just saw here as he goes to grab the hand that pulls the sword he rotates around him and then pulls out his sword and sends him off so here you see he grips his wrist because every time i discuss a disarming uh, video the first thing we say is go and grab the hand that has the knife because that is what will limit their movements and the same they thought of the same thing 
even before and so again it's either to prevent them from pulling their sword or to take it away from them but here he's clearly preventing it he's, he's grabbing the hand and from there he can rotate around it and create leverage and hence why you end up with this technique it's not because you know it doesn't work or it's fantasy it used to serve a particular purpose and if they do not and if they do let go they would actually die as you see here even though he did grab till the very end look he rotate around it grabs with the other hand so he can free his sword hand and here he can simply incapacitate them or execute them now let's go back to this photo and you can see he is still grabbing he is holding on to dear life he's not just holding on to the sword but if he lets go then he has nothing and now you can understand the need or why these techniques were invented in the first place so in all jujitsu the sword the short sword anything was very important culturally and also when it comes to fighting even tomita when he was speaking in 1905 he was describing jujitsu as a way to disarm someone with a sword while you have nothing so it's not just that but also if you have a sword they're trying to take it away from you all these scenarios were taken into consideration now today the goal obviously changed the goal is to serve a different purpose for example kyujitsu the bow techniques and now became kudo became a standing zen so to speak it serves a different purpose uh, you take a long time in order to prepare and shoot the arrow same with these techniques these techniques they want to serve a different purpose now but personally i think they should be understood as to why they are here now can they still serve a purpose a martial purpose today uh, as opposed to art of peace and just meditate on them yes they can be obviously modernized for example someone's trying to go for your baton for your gun and you wear the proper equipment so you can have the most realistic uh, scenario possible um, also disarming knives guns and batons so to speak so it's the time of the sword is obviously finished but the principles can still be applied so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content this was shady and as always thank you for listening